Hi, my name's Wendy Moore. I want to tell you about my new book. It's a, a true version of the Pygmalion myth. Thomas Day was a real Professor Higgins who thought he could shape a girl to become an ideal woman. Sabrina, his chosen girl, was essentially Eliza Doolittle. Um, it's a tale that's really as topical today as it was ever because all of us still believe somehow we, we want to find the perfect partner but this story tells us really that it's not possible to find or to create somebody in a particular ideal we should settle for somebody who matches us perfectly day wanted a lifelong partner who would be just as clever well-read and witty as his brilliant male friends he craved a lover with whom he could discourse on politics, philosophy and literature as freely as he could in male company. He desired a companion who would be physically as tough and hardy as he was. In short, he wanted a woman who would be more like a man. But he was only human and male. So for all his apparently egalitarian views on education, Day wanted his future wife to suppress her natural intelligence and subvert her acquired learning in deference to his views and desires. Born out of Day's fascination for classical myth and romantic notions of pastoral innocence, his perfect woman would be young and beautiful like a Greek or Roman goddess. She would be pure and virginal like a simple country maiden. Hardy and fearless, she would possess the physical constitution of a Spartan bride. Artless and unaffected, she would share the plain tastes in food, clothing and lifestyle of a humble peasant girl. And above all, she would regard Day as her master, her teacher and her superior. She would be completely subservient to his needs and whims and utterly enthralled to his ideas and beliefs. How would he ever obtain the woman of his dreams?